often by an expert new to the Antiques Roadshow, Pat Frost, whose area of expertise is costume and textiles. Now, Pat, why are people so passionate about quilts? Well, I think the answer is behind us, Hugh. It's a wonderful splash of colour in the heart of the home, and they're just wonderful to look at. And, of course, every single one is unique, isn't it? Every single one is There's unique. Not another like it. Hand-stitched. Yeah. But when is a quilt not a quilt? You see, I would regard this one, for instance, on the wall as a, as a typical patchwork quilt. This is a patchwork, but on the other hand, it's not quilted. This is a quilt where you have two layers of fabric with a pattern stitched in with something warm to keep you cosy in between. So it's a sort of textile sandwich? Yes. What I find so interesting about these quilts is it's real genuine gutsy down-to-earth American folk art, isn't it? Indeed, you can feel the woman seizing the opportunity to really make a bold statement. This is the woman as artist in her own home. I particularly like the way she's done this wonderful exuberant feather in the borders. Yes. This dates from around 1790, so it's a very early quilt. Extraordinary, because it looks late, doesn't it? I mean, it's a very modern in its uh, design. Well, I think we associate these colours, pistachio and salmon pink, with the 1970s rather than 1790s. I gather that quilts like this one are now highly sought after among modern art collectors. Indeed, by people who collect um, contemporary art, they're very prized. This one was made in 1929 in Iowa. Um, by the Amish community, and it shows their restrained colours, their sober, God-fearing tones. And over here behind us, now this is another element that you find in many of these quilts, symbolism. The symbol here being the compass rose. The compass is a tool of immense importance to a pioneer folk. But the nice thing about quilts is that they do build into their quilts symbols of everyday life, of true love, faith and hope. And this is a particularly nice example. Life and hope and indeed death. I gather this one here is known as the widow's quilt. Yes, it's a particularly stark example of a widow's grief. She's quilted a harp symbolising heaven next to these sinister black darts, her grief. And this is the only quilt in the collection which is a single quilt. And this one here is simply stunning, isn't it? Well, this is really the star of the show. Yeah. This is a friendship quilt called The Baltimore Bride presented to Alice Ryder in 1847 by her friends and family, each one of whom has contributed a square. Some of them have signed it, and really? then it's made up into this wonderful quilt, bringing the whole community into the wedding. But that's amazing that some, what, 20, 25 people were responsible for this, because it has an amazing consistency to it, doesn't it? It does. It's absolutely wonderful. I gather that there were all sorts of uh, superstitions attached to making quilts. There are lots of superstitions. Never quilt on a Sunday. And you should never let your thread break, because it's extremely bad luck. <laughs> and these quilts are now fetching six-figure sums in auctions in America. Entirely justifiably, in my opinion. I mean, this quilt deserves to be considered as a great work of art. 